like this is one of the all-time Irish great sports careers and its longevity is something to be re- remarked on Julianne but before we retire her she's got plenty left to give right yeah I think so like Neve's a phenomenal athlete she looks after herself so well um, she's signed another one year extension onto her contract with Liverpool so the fact that that's happened I think that she will be um, I don't think she will retire from international football just quite yet I think she still has more to give and even you see in, in the men's game you see Ronaldo all these players playing way into their late 30s so I think it's just um, the same in the women's game I think Neve has a, a bit more to give I, the fact that she's still playing really well at club level is, is the thing that must give her confidence because certainly at international level sometimes uh, a country can be reliant on players because of their experience and it doesn't always um, tally with the club form but her club form seems to be excellent still yeah, like she's week in, week out, she's starting. Obviously, the last couple of months she was injured. Um, so obviously she she wasn't playing much football, but like she's the captain of Liverpool. Like what an honour. Um, and yeah, she's just solid every game. Um, like it's rare that you see her having a poor game, to be honest. Christine Sinclair is a perfect example as well, Julianne. Is just someone who, you know, at the age of 40 can can go on and, and need will be 40 when the next World Cup comes around. I'm not saying she's still going to be around at that point, but I mean, who knows? Yeah, no, absolutely. Like prime example. And you saw the impact that Christine Sinclair had when she came on at halftime versus Ireland. Like it, it's still in them. And um, yeah, and confident needs can, can still contribute to Ireland um, in the future. One of the things that really is important for this group is that they keep the experience of the World Cup for good and bad, but actually like what it's like to be in a tournament, the pressures that brings and carry as much of that through as possible. Well, at the same time, we accept that we need to freshen up the team and get some youth, get some pace into the side as well. So it's a really tricky balancing act for whoever the manager is next. It is. And I think, like you said, I think it's vital that you do keep that experience and not even just that, like, you need good characters in the dressing room and like Neve is an amazing footballer but she's actually like a really good human and like she's great crack like and I really think you need that in a team so um, like I, whoever the manager is if it is going to continue to be Vera or if it's going to be someone else I do think it will be a, a really tough decision to, to kind of put that blend of the experience and, and the kind of fresh new young people coming into the squad as well she, she's just one of these players that over the years uh, Juliana has just gone from strength to strength like I'm sure the experience in that dressing room is is one thing but like the fact that her, the GA background she has as well and, and she's clearly just a talented sportswoman generally speaking so a role model I'd imagine in that dressing room oh yeah absolutely like she has that never die attitude like she'll never give up um, it's kind of just inbred in her and I suppose having the versatility of the different sports background um, she played Gaelic football and she played a bit of basketball as well when she was younger so like she's just that all around athlete and then yeah the experience of all what she's achieved so far she's achieved so much in her club career with Arsenal and then obviously she had the stint at Chelsea and she just won the championship with with Liverpool so she has so much experience and then she even has that All-Ireland with Galway as well so it's it's incredible Um, Do you expect her to continue? With the Ireland team? Yeah I do, yeah I, I, I think so Um, I think after she got that taste of the World Cup um, like I feel like some people are like you'd leave on a high, but then I think she has that taste and I still think she she has it in her and she probably believes that herself. Now, I could be totally wrong, but I think that she could um, give another year or two for sure. Incredibly well-travelled, played in France, played for all the big clubs in England, obviously knows the Irish scene really well. Is this somebody who the FAI should be trying to encourage to get involved in coaching? I know she's got a, a career as a scientist as well. So obviously very, very talented. <laughs> <laughs> and, and may not be interested in being full time in football when she retires. May have felt like that's that's me done. But uh, is there a, a, a coaching slash managerial gene there? Like Neve is super intelligent, and obviously she's an amazing education as well. And um, like she's constantly doing um, like further in her, her her career on the non football on side. Even if it's not managerial, I think she'll be in maybe like the sports science side of a team or something like that. And I feel like you can give so much like in the back room staff. It's all those people who give so much to the team that the public don't see. So 
if it isn't a coach and managerial aspect, I feel like she'll still stay in the kind of sports arena, particularly in the in the science side. But you never know. She, I think she'd be an amazing manager as well. Like she she knows the game inside out, and um, yeah, she's just so well educated. And she's also like mentally strong as well because you look at the. I think she was, she was injury free for maybe a decade, and then early this year she gets the uh, the injury in in February, a calf injury, like. And it was misdiagnosed as well, I think. So she expected to be out for much shorter than she than she ultimately was. So even being able to bounce back from that so close to a World Cup shows some serious mental strength. Yeah, absolutely. Like she's so resilient. I know if that was me, I'd be freaking a couple of months out from the World Cup. Um, but yeah, like she just um, like held strong so good at like doing her rehab just looking after herself and like I'm just so happy that she got back in time for the World Cup and that's a credit to her and like her support system around her and just such a good role model as you, as you said to other people kind of who are in that position who get these kind of injuries before um, big tournaments or um, kind of big games coming up so yeah credit to her um, Julianne we have to ask you about the main story over the last 24 hours it's the non-substitution the, the asked for substitution the naming of the person who either was asked or wasn't asked um, I, this is about as melodramatic a, a sports story that we've had in Irish sports since Johnny Sexton looked up at the big screen and was like oh. you know I mean <laughs> and that turned out to be a hill of beans is this something or is this nothing I think it was blown out of proportion, to be totally honest. Um, like, as the public are, are seeing with Vera, she's blunt, she's direct, she doesn't hold back. I, I think she shouldn't have just named any names or she just should have kept it private and probably not answered the question directly to the media. Like, for her to come out and do that, I'd say the journalists and media in that room like their eyes were lighting up. Um, but yeah, I, I don't think it's anything, to be honest. Um, I think it's blown out of proportion. Is it right that a player vocally, I guess, asks for a substitution during the game? I guess a captain is different, isn't it? I think a captain is different. Um, like, they'll be talking the whole time within a game and, like, outside a game. I'm sure managers will always kind of be speaking to their captain, advice, what do they think, and um, kind of getting the general vibe from the group of girls. So that's normal that they will get and ask opinions. I think fresh legs were needed. Um, I just think it, it shouldn't have been kind of vocalised afterwards and specific players pointed out and then that it was even kind of... Just the way she, she she spoke about it, saying like Katie McCabe is not the coach, but like as I as I mentioned, she's she's direct and that's her style. But overall, I don't, in the grand scheme of things, I, I don't think it's it's just been blown out of proportion. Uh, the mood music is all that the FAI were waiting to see exactly what was going on. I presume they're reading everything in all the papers and seeing what it, the general. Con- consensus is about what should happen with Vera it's hard to make a footballing case that Vera shouldn't be allowed to continue or given another period of time but the relationship thing is really important with your players we, we know from Irish football history that if there's a divide between the best players and the management team it only goes one way and that's disaster so what's your instinct about what's going to happen next my gut instinct is that she won't stay on. Um, I agree from a footballing aspect, it is difficult to see why she wouldn't because she brought the team to the first major um, tournament. I do think from a footballing perspective, though, things need to evolve. Um, very, very defensive the whole time. And um, I think that needs to evolve and, and we need to be more attacking and from the three games we've seen that we actually can compete with these top nations but we need to kind of drive it on more I don't know if 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 she's the right person from a footballing perspective to do that and then from a non-footballing perspective I think there's just been too much drama over the last kind of year and then specifically around the World Cup and as you mentioned there d- does look like there's been a, a massive divide between her and the players. Um, the fact that the players haven't been kind of standing up for in any of the media um, engagements kind of just says it all. Yeah, that that is the most damning of everything. Like, with regards to the drama, at international level, there's drama non-stop 
Like, mm. so whoever comes next will have a tiny little honeymoon period and if results go well, great. But if they don't, then it'll be like, ooh, you're trying to change our playing style before we're ready for it. So, yeah. you know, I, I think the, the specific handling of the athletic stuff ended up backfiring from Vera's perspective and that seems to have been an issue and it'll be interesting to hear what the players say if she does step down. But just on the football side of things, do we have the players to play a different style of football? Because either she gets credit for how we play in the World Cup or she doesn't and therefore, well then she has to go anyway because she's not responsible for it or or we have evolved the style of play a little bit. I think we have evolved. If you said it to me a couple of years ago, I'd be like, look, we don't have the players or like we're just not ready for it yet. But like we're defensively solid. We've been working on that for years and years. And then we do have, we don't have like loads of players. Like they don't have the depth in the squads to, to, for that attacking um, side of things. But we do have a a couple of players and we need to utilize them better. Um, Like, I, I don't think Denise Sullivan was u- utilised whatsoever in this World Cup and it's, it, I'm really disappointed for her. Like She's a phenomenal player and a phenomenal athlete and the fact that she was only given that licence in the last game, I think it's just shown that could have been done in, in the first and second game as well. And then obviously there's Katie um, that is, is a world-class player, but there is other players that we've seen kind of really shown, like Kira Caruso has been like outstanding I, I think in this World Cup like she was not even kind of a, a, a squad player then a bit of a bench player and then now now she's kind of starting and she's doing a great job and then lastly I think Ruta Littlejohn like she ha- hasn't really been getting um, the same kind of credit that other players I think she's had a phenomenal tournament as well so there is the players there I think it's just how you utilise them And does Vera Power not get credit for Carusa and Littlejohn I, I suppose I it feels a little bit like um, Philly was making the point outside earlier that like she is Dutch she doesn't want to play defensive football she wants to play like brilliant orange attacking football um, and so I, I I don't know I'm, I'm wondering if we're throwing the baby out with the bathwater a bit here yeah I think she needs to believe more like and even just try it if we get battered 3-0 then go back and we'll start again and kind of defensive side of thing but the, the girls I looking at them they play with a bit of fear and they are kind of nearly afraid to make mistakes that's just personally what what I think um, I feel like they just need to kind of get the shackles off them and let them go um, Sorry we, we just on if, if Vera Pau is to leave Julianne like are there any names you feel should or will be included in the conversation to replace her we were discussing Tom Elms yesterday of course the League of Ireland background and been with the under 16 girls team as well um, and a bit of continuity I guess but would he be in consideration or would anyone else come to your mind yeah I suppose like Tom's been there throughout the campaign so like he's experienced the kind of buzz of, of the World Cup and um, he knows the players um, really well I think like the coach education system in Ireland actually is really strong. So there there probably is a lot of um, coaches out there that are both in the women's game and in the men's game that would be able to step up. Um, none really come to mind top ahead um, for me. I suppose Eileen Gleeson could be up there. She was assistant manager to, to Vera as well. Um, she's coached at a high level over in Glasgow and now she's within the FAI. But I think whatever happens, the FAI need to like really sit down and really think about who would be a good candidate. It can't be a fast decision because it's, it's a massive role and especially where the team are now. All right. Julianne, good stuff. Thanks a million for joining us. Cheers. Thanks a million.